Uh, my life before Balanced View was um, on the outside it looked very good. I had loads of good friends, good work life and uh, yeah, lived in a nice house with lovely people. But for most of the time I was quite miserable. Those thoughts going around in my head all the time. How can I get people to like me? What can I do to be accepted? And looking back, it was just really a sign that I didn't like and accept myself. Because really that acceptance was there. My friends would tell me every day how much they loved me. But when they said that, I would, I would just think, well, you don't really know me. If you knew me, you wouldn't, you wouldn't say that. And I had this belief that I just wasn't lovable because I just had all these emotions like um, anger, a lot of anger, uh, hatred, jealousy, all of those. So I was, I was in personal development workshops for years trying to fix myself and get rid of these emotions so that I could then become acceptable and, and then it would be okay that I could be loved. And um, so then I came to Balanced View in December or November. Um, and straight away there was this amazing, uh, well I saw all these amazing people and I just knew that they had what I wanted. What I've been doing sort of meditation, listening to satsangs and I could see that they were actually embodying what I'd been trying to get to. So I thought I'll keep coming back and um, I started to get this transmission. I was quite familiar with open intelligence under a different name from my other sort of meditation and I could just feel I was deepening into it and becoming more expansive. So I thought, yeah, this is really working. I hadn't even sort of done anything at that point, but I was just was turning up, so I started to do the trainings. And a lot of anger came up in the trainings. I was starting to really criticise the text. I was, I was just feeling anger and the texts were there and they were an easy target. So I was just quit. <laughs> I was just blaming them. And, and at some point in 12 Empowerments, I thought, if I keep doing this, I'm going to get thrown out. <laughs> and it was a bit of a shock because I knew that I, I didn't want that. So I went away and really started to think about it. And I just realised that this kind of wall that I put around myself, not letting anyone in in case I got hurt or in case they saw who I was, that was kind of being deconstructed. And this is my defence mechanism was to get really angry because part of me didn't want that. So, but I thought, yeah, I've got a choice here. And I knew that for the first time in my life, really, I'd found something that was more important than keeping that wall in place and that was to carry on with balanced views. So I started to make this 100% commitment to the four mainstays, which was... Uh, quite a thing even now, I'm sort of like 100%, where's my escape <laughs> route? But, but now I just think, well, it's here, if it's, if it's not here, it's not anywhere else, so um, this is it now. So that's the, yeah, the community and the training and uh, the sort of benefits I've had, yeah, uh, just self-acceptance, just more open-hearted relating with people. Um, just an end, this endless thought of what do I do to get people to like me has just kind of fallen away. It's just, during the training, it just, <coughs> I always thought, thought of it like a, a, a rocket booster falling away from a rocket, it just kind of wasn't needed anymore. So, um, it's just such a relief not to have that going on all the time. And it's, I'm not so concerned now whether people like me or not, I'm just living in each moment and if people like me, great, and if they don't, that's okay. Um, so what else is the the trainer? Yeah, I got the great trainer, and it's great to know he's not just there for the times where I'm sort of lost in data, which actually hasn't happened yet. But I guess it, it may well happen. But he's also there just for like when I'm faced with life decisions and <coughs> different things coming up. Which way do I go? Just there to sort of be there and reflect back to me what what's really important to me. Yeah.